welcome to Dotto Tech. I'm Steve Dotto. Now, one of the things that Apple does better than anyone else is integration. The fact that they make both the hardware and the software in their computers gives them a huge edge in performance because everything fits so well together. Today, we're going to take a look at that next level of integration, which is integrating our computer and our life on the Internet. So let us begin by looking at the Dot .Mac service from Apple. Dot .Mac is like nothing that you've ever seen before. It provides all sorts of services and convenience, and the common thread is the Internet. Dot .Mac takes our computer life, and it uses the Internet to make it more convenient, more flexible, richer, and more secure. Dot .Mac is something that we all can use, but it's especially valuable to students. Dot .Mac accounts are free to try, and if you like what you see, you can sign up, and then you pay an annual fee. But students always get a discount. But even at full price, it's very reasonable. And once you sign up to a Dot .Mac account, you have access to all sorts of productivity, convenience, and security tools while you're online. How do you get started? Well, it actually couldn't be any simpler, because you access Dot .Mac from your web browser. So let's begin. I have Dot .Mac up here, and I've already signed in. I have a full account. And if we take a look here on the screen, we see my homepage, which gives me my account information. And down here is a calendar, and below are some of the main tools within Dot .Mac. And I want to begin right now with the most important one, I think, which is backup. With Dot .Mac, we can back up all our most important documents, our photos, our movies, all of our work onto a secure server. Now, believe it or not, Despite how often we harp the need to back up your data, the fact that almost everyone agrees that backing up the data is necessary, eh, less than 50% of us actually back up our data in any comprehensive form. Now, there's a variety of reasons for this, but convenience tops the list. Most backups are done using CDs or DVDs, and the process is just too cumbersome to be done regularly. So most people only back up sporadically, and that's usually after a catastrophic crash. <laughs> Well, Backup 3 from Dot .Mac changes all of that. Once you set it up, you're good to go. Backup will back up all of your key data onto something called your iDisk, and it will also help you back up your data locally onto CD or DVDs. iDisk is another big part of Dot .Mac. It's a virtual hard drive. See right here, I've got my iDisk. Let me open it up. It's a virtual hard drive that lives on the Internet. All of these files are not on my computer. They're on the Internet. It's an incredibly convenient tool. Now, you can access your iDisk from any computer, either Mac or PC. So for students, it means they can store all of their work on their iDisk and then access their work from any computer, any computer in a computer lab or at their friend's house or when they're home for holidays. And if they lose their computer or have a disaster, all your key data is still available to you. But before we delve too deeply into iDisk, let me show you some of the tools in Backup 3. Now, Backup 3, we don't access through our web browser. We actually download the application and install it on our computer. And here it is here, this little umbrella. It's called Backup. And it's a simple utility. It's only got one purpose, to make all of our data safe and secure. And how it happens is by scheduling different types of backups. We do that by clicking on the little Add button here, which adds a new plan. Now, plans are the set of rules that we put in place to tell our computer what data to back up and where to put it. And there's a whole bunch of presets, things like backing up our home folder, backing up all of our main address book contacts, stickies, notes, calendar events, those sorts of things. You can also set it up to back up iLife, which is all of your rich documents, your personal photos, your video, your music that you create yourself, or your purchased music and video. You can set up automatic backups for each of these, or you can set your own custom backup. Let's just walk through that, and you can see how flexible it is. What you do is you give it a name, and then you choose what you want to back up. And you can choose from your files and folders, for example. If I just wanted to back up all of my business columns, I would just choose that, say include this folder, and it automatically includes all of the items in the folder, and say done. Now it's going to back that up. When is it going to back it up? That's the next thing I choose, which is destinations and schedule. So the destination, ah, look here. We can back up onto our own hard drive or onto our iDisk, or you can also back up onto CD or DVD. Backup will allow you to either back up virtually onto the Internet or onto something physical like a CD or a DVD. Once you've set your destination, then you choose how often you want your backup to occur. And you can schedule backups for daily, weekly, monthly, whatever works best on your schedule. And you can also choose a different time of day. Once you've selected all of those parameters, you simply save your selection. And now backup will work in the background 
to back up your data when you need it and make sure that your information is always safe and secure. With tools like Apple's Backup, you're going to back up your data without even thinking about it because once it's set up, backup is automatic. There's no better security for your documents and your memories. For students, entire semesters of work and research are now safe and secure. In fact, your data is backed up onto a server with corporate level security, so it's accessible only to you and only when you need to recover it. In the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, I read several stories of entire research projects that were saved only because they were backed up onto iDisk. And speaking of iDisk, you can also use it as a regular drive. Let me show you a little bit more about iDisk now while we're talking about this. I'm going to close my way out of backup and let me get back to my desktop and show you. iDisk appears here on my desktop as a regular file. If I double click and open it, it looks like it's local on my hard drive, but it's actually living on the internet. So now all I have to do is drag any files or documents on top of it and drop it and now it's being backed up onto the internet. Now, I can access these files from any computer, either Mac or PC, that is connected to the internet. I just have to log on to my .Mac account from any web browser, and I can do that in Windows as easily as I can do it in Mac, and then I can access my iDisk. The iDisk is brilliant and simple. It fits students, obviously, but also anyone, say someone who travels or works on several different computers, like if you're taking your work home with you. It provides you with convenience and security, and really, what more can you ask? For more information about any of the products we cover on the show, drop by our website at dottotech.com.